I want to talk to you for a second about the future of weight loss medications. We're at a very exciting time in the treatment of obesity. Uh, we are discovering day by day new and different pathways that are uh, related to the way we eat and the way we manage and process food. And as we begin to have a clearer understanding of the brain's neurochemistry and why we eat and, and, and why we process food the way we do, we begin to develop possible tools and possible medications that can help us down the road. Now right now there are dozens of different drugs in the pipeline that are working on all these specific areas. And I would kind of equate this to the way we were in managing high blood pressure maybe 20 or 30 years ago. Back then we only had a very small handful of drugs that were available to treat high blood pressure. Most of them really had a lot of side effects and were not very easy to tolerate. But as we began to grow in our understanding and knowledge, we began to develop new areas to attack. First we had beta blockers, then we had things called calcium channel blockers, then we had ACE inhibitors, and then we had ARBs and alpha blockers, and each one of these added another tool in our whole weaponry to be able to handle and manage blood pressure. And what we do now is we often combine them and mix them until we find the right ones to work for that individual. That's the future of weight loss, and down the road, that's exactly what we hope to be able to see. Multiple pathways, different drugs, combinations, all to help us better manage our appetite, manage our energy expenditure, and get us to the point where we can treat this like a chronic disease and help people manage their long-term weight issues.